Irvin! What a window! Throw it, throw the deep post. Yes! No! Your hands are in front of him, your body's in front! Clamped like crazy, but Hawkinson's got one this time! He misses! He gets run off! And Hawkinson! It's still, it's still one. one. Jefferson, he's there! Got it! Palomalu! Go! Go! You gotta go! Troy! Palomalu! He's gonna take this! He does it! I need you to get down on your knee. I'm a bad pussy bitch going. He heaves one! I'm there! Let's fucking go! This team gets W! Take all the 99s in the world, I don't care! Take your chief, Steve Kevin, shove it up your ass! Will of my Super Bowl! Everything has led to this, gentlemen! I'm wearing a Titans jersey in honor of the lowest overall player on our team, our QB1, Malik. Willis. Malik has been this close to being cut from the Wheel of Mutt team, but game after game, he proves why that's my QB1. And today is the Super Bowl on the redemption season. For those of you who remembered last season and still stuck with us, thank you very much. We went 0-3, something we've never done in Wheel of Mutt history. And the very next season, we rebuilt and find ourselves in the Super Bowl. Now, we have something very important to talk about at the start of this episode, and that is our prestige player. For those of you that are new to to Wheel of Mutt, welcome. And in Wheel of Mutt, there is a rule. Every time I make it to the Super Bowl, I can add one new prestige player. A prestige player is a player that is always locked into the lineup no matter what, and I'm always entitled to the best version possible of their card. For example, at the very start of this year, I prestige Justin Jefferson, who at the time was an 87 overall. And since I prestige him, I now get access to the 98 overall team of the year. 98 speed, 99 jump, Justin Jefferson. No matter how many games we lose, I always keep him on the squad. However, I can only prestige a player that is currently in my lineup. So I can't just pull Patrick Mahomes out of the auction house and prestige him. I have to currently have the card. So number one, a very good prestige option is Teron Armstead, the Terror. 97 overall. This is an end game left tackle with amazing stats and excellent discounted abilities. Not a lot to complain about right there. Kenyon Green, Zion Johnson, and Juwan Taylor are not good options. And of course, Jason Kelsey is already a prestige. Pete Metzelar's low key would be an amazing prestige because he is awesome. However, I've already prestige hockey since so it's probably not worth it. Michael Irvin and CeeDee Lamb technically could be prestigious, but I've already got Justin Jefferson. Bo Jackson could also be a prestige, but I've got a Koye who can fill in as a halfback, and Malik Willis, as much as I love him, doesn't have any other good cards. Now, defensively, there are some really good options, too. Marcus Williams, in his own right, is amazing, although he probably won't get another really good card. Isaiah Simmons has a 97 overall corner, which is crazy, and also his middle linebacker is amazing. Tomorrow, Davis, Hassan Radek are probably a no. J.J. Watt is a good option. J.J. Watt had that insane safety. He's already really good and his actual limited career tribute is a 98 overall. So we basically take this JJ Watt and make him way better. Javon Kirst, Deron Payne, and Chase Young are very unlikely. Derek Stingley is unlikely. Megatron's already prestiged and I have the option to use his wide receiver. And then we have this sleeper right here in Eric Berry. Now a few episodes ago I was opening packs and I pulled this 88 overall Eric Berry. Which on the surface doesn't seem like a very good pull. But when you consider there's a 98 overall ultimate legend free safety Eric Barry, all of a sudden, this would be an insane prestige to have. So I'm leaning towards Eric Barry or Teron Armstead. And how can we forget one of the coolest pulls in Wheel of Mutt history, the Scottish Hammer. And normally, I don't even think about prestiging a punter, but his stats are amazing. We make Wheel of Mutt history, and his chemistry adds one agility, kick power, impact block, and hit power to all kickers, punters, D-line, and linebackers. Kind of a massive boost for my linebackers in D-line, for real, which no other player in this game can do. So those are my three best options right now, but keep in mind, since our team is already a 95 overall with a 95 O and 95 D, it's kind of unlikely that I'm going to make some big game-changing upgrade, right? So with my wheel spins, I could intentionally grab players who have a really good prestige option. For example, there's a gold 99 Fred Warner middle linebacker in the game. If I had the option to buy Cora 
elite Fred Warner. I could buy him, prestige him instantly, and then have gold 99 Fred Warner next episode. So that's just a possibility. But now that we've got everything out of the way, I think we're ready for the first wheel spin. We've got a Super Bowl to win, ladies and gentlemen. All right, gentlemen, it's up to the wheel to decide what we get for the Super Bowl today. Our first wheel spin is going to land on the overalls wheel. I thought it'd be IRL packs. But overall, Wheels is awesome, too. So we can take any single player in the game, but they must be exactly... Looks like it's going to be 92. Or is that going to go 91? 92. 92 overall player. So like I said, a 92 is not going to change the game for us. But we can take any 92 in the game who potentially has another awesome card that we could pick up. And as I look at my team here, I feel like the best option might actually be a middle linebacker. It was so hard to get a hold of this Isaiah Simmons. And there are a lot better middle linebackers in the game than Isaiah Simmons right now. Namely, Fred Warner. So let's go see what 92 middle linebackers are in the game and if any of them have an awesome upgrade option. Option. So 92 overall middle linebackers. Nicobe Dean's a no. Nick Bolton, no. Kale Walker, no. Luke Keekley, no. That's his best card. Ken Norton's a 93. Devondre Kelly, there might not be a good option. Oh, 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 oh. I almost forgot. 92 Ray Lewis. Wait a minute. Ray Lewis has this monster Super Bowl 57 card right here. You know what? I'm about to be playing in Super Bowl 57. So this should be perfect. He's not the tallest user in the world, but his stats are absurdly good. He gets great discounted abilities. Ooh, that would be, dude, Ray Lewis in the middle. I'm going 92 Ray Lewis. So I'm going to slot 92 Ray Lewis in as a backup right here. And there he goes. So 92 Ray Lewis is my backup middle linebacker. He won't get any reps, but he is now a prestige option. All right, gentlemen, our first one is an excellent prestige option that was executed very well. And our second option, special teams jackpot. What can I really do with this? I can get a kicker, a punter, or a kick return. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I know what I'm gonna do here. Let me tell you why a kicker is actually my best option here. He's already on my bench too. The kicker I grabbed is Matt Gay. Yeah, go ahead. Hey! Go ahead, Kevin Hart. Stop. That's good. Chris Rock, go ahead and make the joke. Matt Gay, go ahead, do it. Yeah, go, go make the joke because you're super funny and everyone's going to laugh. Go ahead and make the joke. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> you think I'm taking that out of the video? You think I give a shit about monetization? Your mom's OnlyFans rakes me in a six-figure income every single month. It <laughs> was a bad time to walk in, Al. Come on. I was deep throwing the mic. You know, you know what I was doing. I heard him say that he was gay. I didn't say that. No, it's the kicker's name. It's not me. Dude, see? Yeah, Kevin Hardy. Hey, biggest... Women are so funny, guys. Clap it up. It's Women's History Month. How do you want to celebrate? It's Wheelamont Super Bowl, so don't say something stupid. Uh, I thought Wheelamont... Nope, no, no, Wheelamont Super Bowl. No, actually, no women. Wheelamont yeah. Super Bowl. It's women's appreciation so if you don't watch the rest of this video you don't appreciate women stop you're gonna click off the video stop she didn't say that she didn't say if you hate women stay here and finish the video please i have kids to feed i pay custody i pay child support with who to joe mama joe mama <laughs> i paid to malik willis i've already got adam vinatieri so why do i need matt gay well all you harvard scientists check this out matt gay gets zero ap zen kicker which is the same ability i had on adam vinatieri Slower kicking meter for all kicks over 45 yards. Stay with me. He also gets one AP focused kicker. Slower kicking meter for all kicks up to 45 yards. And if you graduated from Harvard like me, you know that that means he gets a slower kicking meter for every single kick in the game. And since he's even got leftover AP since you can use two on special teams, I added clutch kicker. I've never missed a nice kick, so it really doesn't matter. But I think it'll be so satisfying to watch my opponent try and ice me, and then I don't even get iced. I think it'll just be so satisfying. Like, they really think they have a chance to win with the ice kick. And then I just come out there and have a slow meter and just drill it down the middle. I just think it'd be so funny. He also has a 97 kick power, which is the highest in the game, I think. Or maybe it's tied with Justin Tucker. Either way, this is a nasty kicker card. So our third and final wheel spin. First one's a nice prestige option. Second's an excellent kicker. And this one is going to be a prestige option, too. Damn, not the best spin. We're not going to make a massive upgrade. But top 10, 92, 93. We can choose one player. Just got to hope that they have a good prestige option. So I go overall 92 to 93. And then I sort by time remaining. Now keep in mind, okay, the rows, there's technically six to a row. In previous Maddens, it was five to a row. So I know this looks stupid, but just it's technically top 12. I kind of cheesed this earlier with Adam Vinatieri, but you get the idea. So I can choose out of the top 12 players here. Glasgow's a no. Pat Pete's a no. Ugh, these are very good. Tuto Jones, Mercedes Lewis, Big Dog, and Brian Dawkins, Weapon X. Ugh. 
low key, none of these options are very good, but there is a Hail Mary that I can take. And the Hail Mary is Weapon X. So Brian Dawkins Weapon X has this 93 overall right here. This is his only card in the game, the 93 AKA. It is possible that Brian Dawkins gets a crazy good 98 or gold 99 overall ultimate legend. And I would take Brian Dawkins over Eric Berry. That wheel spin really didn't do much for me, but this is a big Hail Mary. He could get an Easter card too, potentially. So it would be a true Hail Mary prestige. Probably won't do it, but we're scraping the bottom of the barrel right now. My team is so good, I didn't really expect to make a big upgrade. I'm gonna stick Weapon X as my corner number five. He's gotta go somewhere if we're gonna prestige him. So Weapon X is in as a backup, Ray Lewis is in as a backup, and Matt Gay is in at kicker. I'm losing my voice, but I am not losing my faith. We need to go get a Super Bowl ring right now. Now, the only thing left before we go to this Super Bowl, oh, it's so nerve-wracking seeing that in the top left, is the challenge wheel, and I'd argue this is the most important challenge wheel of the season. If we complete the challenge wheel in the Super Bowl, we get one of any pack at the start of next season. And that can be so helpful when my team is completely depleted and full of silver players. So our challenge for the Super Bowl is going to be... What is that? No kicking? No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, we just dodged a bullet. 150 plus rushing yards. I don't know, man. In a Super Bowl, that's kind of crazy. But we got to play with the hands we were dealt. The last thing for us to do is play the Super Bowl. Let's hop in, gentlemen. Top three, Sauce Gardner, Justin Jefferson, Pete Metzelars, that's us. And his, Jalen Hurts, Julio Jones, and Jalen Ramsey. Wait a minute, top three? Oh my God, two straight playoff games with no playoffs logos or Super Bowl presentation. Throw, just literally throw the developers away. Throw them away. Stupid as hell. Hey, whatever. He's got a squad. He's got the Jalen duo with Jalen Hurts and Jalen Ramsey. He's got Eagles unis on. And you know what? Look at that. Matt Gay can bomb that ball. That's actually so helpful for kick returns. Hopefully. 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 Yes, it is. Frustrated I don't have logos, but I'm very excited to be starting out on defense. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles are going to start with a run play. And Leonard Fournette is going nowhere. Second and seven. Halfback across the middle. I see it. Don't you dare. Don't even think about it. Ooh, let's send some heat. He's running bench, I think. A lot of people run this. I'm going to jump left side. Oh, good throw. Third and seven. That could have been a massive stop. Palomalu was close, but not close enough. Dude, I need Palomalu to get his ultimate legend. When Palomalu gets that, I will legitimately be the greatest prestige man of all time. Oh, I hate this play. This play's so good. Ooh, I shouldn't guess past. This is a run. Shit, shit, shit. Hey, way to blow it up anyway. Great work. Five wide, definitely a pass. Let's make him make a mistake. Whip route. I see it. No, no, no first. No first. Hey, good tackle. He's making a smart, slow drive. Oh, here we go. PA slot cross. We got to get to the QB. Let's go. Let's blitz. Let's blitz. I got the halfback. What? Oh, and you're going to showbo. Marcus Williams got torched on that route. Julio Jones just burn him. It's going to be a tough Super Bowl, gentlemen, but let's lock in. Okay, 150 plus rushing yards. Listen, I'd love to have next season start out on the right foot, but I'm not gonna sell the Super Bowl. So if the run game ain't working, I can't go to it. Let's start out here with it. I don't know how I wanna feel about that. Nice little combo here with Bo over the middle. He's gonna break the tackle and get up to third and one. Nah, we're still good. I, I love that O-line. Ooh, great work, good hard cut. Mm, I felt that safety. 10 rushes for Bo, that's a good start. And hit Hawk. Wait for him. There he is. Malik, overthrow! Malik, I put on this Titans uni for you! That is so bad. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts out with a run. He can kind of milk the clock on me. Makes a nice throw to the outside. Gets hit pretty hard. Second and three. He's gonna go with a handoff. Oh, he is gonna get the edge. And a big hit. No, no big hits. Damn. How are we gonna claw back in this one, gentlemen? Let's see what we're made of here. Play action. Tried to throw it over my head. Come on. Show some respect. All right, we got the ball back. Malik, it's redemption time, buddy. We have a great drive right here. Three-man rush. Can't even get a pass off. Going inside zone now. See if I can pick up something. Oh, yeah. Those are nice. Those are nice. Let's follow it. Follow those blocks, Bo. Ooh. Got picked up, but luckily it is a first. Big Hawk is wide open in a pocket. All right, Malik. Let's kick the dust off, Malik. It's all right. Dude, go watch the left side. Play that playback. What kind of bullshit was that? Three-man rush. Just nobody even thought about blocking it. Sending it. Yup! 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 
Come on! The oldest trick in the book. Send him down the middle. Send the halfback underneath. He bites on the halfback. And he misses the tackle at the goal line. We're tying this puppy up. I get ball at half, too. We needed that, gentlemen. We needed that. All right, Malik. Good fucking ball, Malik. Hey, I tell you what, though, about this Matt Gay. This was such a big pickup. Bombing this into the end zone that deep? I mean, knock on wood, but that's just so much better for kick returns. Oh. Dude, oh my god, it did that thing. Oh my god, it did that thing. It did the camera angle thing. Yeah, go ahead and showboat, buddy. Whatever, you're gonna get fucked. I'm gonna bend you over and fuck you. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but the camera angle changes when the kick return's gonna be good. It's so hard to explain. But you see how the camera angle is different and he just walked untouched into the end zone? It's almost like the game determines that you're gonna get a kick return touchdown, so they just give you this super sick camera angle so you can watch your bum-ass dude walking into the end zone with zero skill or effort. You're gonna, he's gonna regret all this showboating. I can't wait. We put this ball in the end zone with no time left. We get the ball at half, we go up 21. One to 14. Sketchy with Malik. We'll pick up seven yards, though. She's gonna take the first and then call a timeout. Yep. Hey, I'm getting good running yards. I'm not getting anything insane, but I'm getting good rushing yards. Okay, Hawkinson corner should be there. I'm not gonna glare it down, but it should be there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, kinda. That Jalen Ramsey is, is legit. Need a double team here. I'll just go bow and I'll take what I can get. Let's go no huddle. Bow, once again. I don't know why he doesn't want to... I'm getting hit, though. First and 10, 26 seconds left. In scoring range, but yet to score. <laughs> I'm going to go up and spike this. I want to maintain my timeout. Should have called my timeout there and potentially got another thing in, but Matt Gay's got Zen Kicker, so this is a lot easier kick than it normally would be. Although Vinatieri also had it, so it's all good. Either one would have made it. 10 to 14, I get ball at half. He's got his gifted kick return touchdown. Dude, that is so funny that I was talking about how good it was that Matt Gay was Matt Gay, and uh, he goes ahead and does that. Another beautiful drive. We make this 17 to 14. We hold him on defense, and I showbow in his fucking face for the next year and a half. I want to get Bo moving, man. If we can, it'd be huge. Great blocking there, you guys. Hey. 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 Let's go, Bo. Yes, sir. 62 yards rushing and 150 total rushing yards. And we got someone Malik, too, for our challenge. It's possible. I'm going to give him the stretch now. Yeah, he's all spooked. I went up the middle, so he's spooked now. Mets a large. Oh, what a catch! Big P! He was manned up. So he was he had a zone there with a man coverage addition. That's interesting. All right, we're just gonna take some Malik yards here. Beauty, beauty, beauty! Take more rushing yards. 14 for Malik. He has never successfully guarded Bo here. And he still won't. And he still won't. Let's go! First and goal. I'm gonna scramble this. Beautiful. You got the speed, Malik. You got the speed, Malik! Let's Malik Willis, redeem yourself. Let's go, Malik. Come on. 17 to 14. Hey, let's see what he's got to do. He's only scored one offensive touchdown. In fact, he's only had the ball on offense for one drive. First and 10. Let's see what he comes out with first. Maybe a run play. Yup. Yup. Come here, Leonard Fournette. I'm going hot on Jalen Hurts. The whip route's there. Okay. Okay. Nice whip route. He's chewing clock. There's no way you think you can shoot clock and score a touchdown. No time left, right? Nice ball. And he's still chewing hey, clock. Yo, he really thinks fuck? he's going to chew clock. Score a touchdown with no time left. There's a flag? What's the flag? What? I just got an illegal contact flag? Does he let this go the quarter? Blown up. Oh, he's really going to try and fucking cheese me. This is hilarious. Got gifted a kick return. Now you're going to start the second half with chew clock on. This will be a, a real, real satisfying Super Bowl when I take this one from you. Nice ball out there to Gronk. It's the chew clock I'm concerned about. I'm just going to call it how it is. What a pussy. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> I switched it up and went, man, I had an opportunity right there. I'm going to give him a different look on defense. Oh, what a find. Honestly, great pass. I, I was there. I had an opportunity to get it, and I didn't. I think he's a little too close now, especially with the two-minute warning and timeouts. I don't think he can do this how he wants to. This could be a run. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Come on! Great defense. Third and seven. He grilled me last time he ran this. This is what he threw a touchdown on. 
Nice play. Tries to sit himself down. What a huge pussy. This is like hilarious that this is what you're, this is your tactic right now. A turnover on downs will feel so, so, so good. Goes to another handoff. Stuff. I'm gonna use one timeout right now. If he can get to the three, he can win the game like this. See what he goes with. Javon Curse gets back there. Third and 10. Clock is now stopped. I maintain two timeouts, which is massive. Play these underneath. We don't even need to guess pass. Oh, no, I didn't get to that. Oh, I saw it. I, I bit on a halfback for half a second. Nice touchdown, but I got to respond with one of my own now. Luckily... He's unable to chew clock cheese me now. See, he tried his hardest to use that entire clock and score with no time left. So now the game is in my hands with two timeouts and a minute 49. I just have to put it in the end zone. Field goal does me no good. Tight end attack has been lethal against him today. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. It's cover four drop that he's running, right? Start with an RPO read bubble. I could have thrown the read on the RPO. Bo is gonna fight for four yards. No need to run chew clock. Bo underneath, stupid open. He's gonna break one and get out of bounds. Nice work, Bo. Ah, this is one of the biggest drives of our lives in the Super Bowl. Down four, a minute 27 in the ball game. What are we made of here, gentlemen? That was not a good ball at all. Justin Jefferson, you forgot to lead him. Or not Justin Jefferson, Malik Willis, you forgot to lead him. Malik takes it for the first. First and 10. Bo is too free. Too free not to throw. We're doing fine, gentlemen. We maintain our two timeouts. Yup. 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 Malik! Takes it all the way! Malik Willis! Get on me! Stop! Is that 150 plus? The flattened downfield by Hawkinson! Let's go! Holy shit, my whole body is fucking trembling. He has three timeouts. He has 25 seconds. Oh, I should have showboated. If I had the biggest balls in the world, I would have showboated. Sky kick to the nightmare. Holy shit, I'm shaking. I'm fucking shaking. Let's go! Yeah, you like that fucking showboat, huh? How do you like it when I bend you over and fuck you? Like I fucked your mom! Let's go! 22 seconds, two timeouts. Let's put this away. I own you, and you know it. Keep him in bounds. Keep yourself in bounds. Oh, he only needs a he only needs a field goal. Shit. Oh. Shit. He's already in field goal range, no? He had no issue getting all that. Comes out and kicks the field goal. We gotta go OT. Going to overtime in the fucking I'm not ice, I don't ice. I guess it's technically not over. I can return this. Definitely going for the return here. Goes for the squib. We're going to fucking OT. Tails never fails. No! actually heads. I can't believe there's actually heads. It's always tails never fails, man. All right, we got to come out here with amazing defense, man. We got no choice but to come out here with the best defense we've ever had. Oh, I got to make substitutions if I'm going to run this. There is no way. It's an early breakup. Nice play. I thought I was going to pick it. How did I not? Oh, I thought he actually threw that football. PA slot cross. This fucking play, man. Third and 10. I might just do something really risky here. I'm doing something really risky here. Showboat a little more, huh? Ah! Showboat on that long ass bus ride home to bum fuck nowhere. That's a ring. Whoa! Let's fucking go. He's <laughs> no way. He blocked me. He blocked me. He blocked. He's not in my recently played with. He blocked me. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You're my bitch. You're I, you. I I legitimately own you. It's the 1800s and you're my property. Woo! Isaiah Simmons, Super Bowl MVP. No, it's gotta be Malik Willis. Malik Willis with two rushing touchdowns. We don't give up on you, Malik. Malik started that game with an INT. We clawed back. This was the greatest Wheel of Mutt season. Ah, no, there was another good season this year. Oh, that felt so fucking good, dude. I could come back to this video and literally, literally beat the shit out of my meat to it, I think. I don't know if I completed my challenge wheel. He quit, so I never got to see, but I'm calling that a win. I am opening one pack of my choice at the start of the next 
season. And that's not all I'm doing. I'm also gonna open these two trophy packs right here. I earned those two trophy packs and these two midfield packs from winning the Super Bowl. They can sometimes have good stuff on, but I earned it. I won the bowl. I'm opening those at the start of my next team. I love you guys. What a, I'm a completely out of voice. It's take a couple days before I even think about starting next season. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.